Hey y'all, Talia Van Doren here, um, answering your questions from Facebook today. Uh, the first question is from Justin Walters, and he asks, how's training? Well, thank you for asking, Justin. It's quite badass if I do say so myself. I recently made a post that I am now working with Brandon Lilly uh, for Cube Method, um, almost sort of a hybrid with um, strongman powerlifting and arm wrestling. I couldn't be happier. I'm seeing some amazing gains in the gym, not only strength-wise, I'm seeing physique changes, I'm feeling stronger, I'm recovering well, um, and my confidence is just skyrocketed. So I'm extremely happy. I can't wait to see what happens this weekend. I've got Beast of Bluegrass, which is uh, powerlifting and strong woman that I'm doing simultaneously and uh, you know this will be this will be a good little test for everything that I've been doing and all the the work that I've been putting in in the gym I'm definitely looking forward to it um, and you know Brandon has been an amazing support and help in trying to help me achieve my goals and stay um, healthy and focused for these competitions so you can always contact him at lilytraining at yahoo.com uh, for any more information from him on cube method uh, let's see, TAA arm wrestling, when do you project winning your first state and national titles in arm wrestling? Well, I certainly hope that it'll be soon. That's the goal. Um, I'm really training hard. It's trying to um, develop that tendon strength and get past that newbie pain so that I can uh, bust some butt this year and bring home some titles. Um, definitely um, on the radar, so you better watch out. It's going to happen soon. Brian Crilly, favorite exercise? Well, I'm a deadlift queen. I know everybody probably already knows that, but um, any kind of deadlift movement is some of my favorite stuff. Um, probably for strong women would be a car deadlift. Uh, it just makes you feel just tough and strong and amazing. Um, I really am getting into doing some deficit deadlifts. I really enjoy that, seeing some explosiveness in that area. So um, deadlifting, deadlifting, deadlifting. It's my bread and butter and it's my number one favorite thing to do. Uh, Jessica De Palma, how do you find jeans that fit? Muscles make it impossible. Well, you're absolutely right. They do. So I don't wear jeans. Um, leggings, jeggings, and that's pretty much it. Um, skirts, skirts, dresses, that helps too because then you eliminate the lower half of the body pretty much. Um, yeah, there's no denim that fits a muscular woman like a, that actually looks good. So um, jeggings, uh, TJ Maxx, honestly, is a great place to find jeggings. So that would be my best recommendation for that. Um, and take it as a compliment to yourself. Screw jeans. Who needs them? If you have too many muscles, you don't need to wear jeans. It's okay. Just move past it. Um, Josh Manimal Huxley asks, how many hours of ink? We have a video bomber here. That's Noodle. Yeah, I have a cat. I got two, actually. Don't hate me for it. But he's awesome. He's kind of like a dog. So he's just going to sit here and chill. Um, so how many hours of ink? <laughs> I lost track years ago. I don't know. I don't know how many hours of ink. I don't know how much money I've spent. Thousands? Hundreds of hours? I don't know. A lot, a whole lot. Um, and I probably would be really depressed if I actually knew how much money that I spent. So let's just say, I don't know, several hundred hours in into my tattoos and no end in sight. Chad Crawford, you know the answer to this question. Have you ever done Gangnam Style in a country bar while sipping on Hypnotic? The answer to that is absolutely yes. I have, and it is a memory that I will never forget, and uh, definitely one of the best times I've ever had. So thank you all for the questions. I answered more than three. I couldn't help it. I appreciate the love and support. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.